I've been really trying hard to keep my prescription for like three years or so because I got really scared that like it go above like eight and then they really wanted to put me at like minus nine. So I have this like anxiety and fear. And I think what really make me feel that I decided to like, oh, this is it. I really have to find a solution was um, in 2000. 19 like I went to get my eye exam and then the optometrist say that like actually illegal for him to let me keep my current prescription because he was saying that I might not be able to to see the street signs clearly so then I was like oh no you know just give me some time my eyes will get better so he scheduled he was like okay come back in two weeks and I was like I have to get this done in two weeks and you know what in two weeks I went back and I could see the, whatever the line, I could see well enough that he let me keep my uh, contact lens prescription at that time. Oh, interesting. I'm very excited. I have been sitting at that minus 7.5 for quite a few years. I could hardly see anything (laughs) at home. It's just a piece of blur blurry everywhere i think when i get down to like maybe in the minus five area like one time all of a sudden like there's like um this artificial like plan in my bathroom and then i was like wait a minute i feel like i could see the texture it was like there's like a rose and then i could see the petals and i was like what you know <laughs> I think maybe one of the reasons that like I've been reducing consistently, I'm just like so annoyed with my vision. Feel like so motivated. I try to do active focus like all the time. My computer actually sit at one meter away. So I'm wearing my normal ones and I'm doing active focus when I'm working. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, an experiment. You can experiment with that, that, especially when you're saying, one of the things that you mentioned is sometimes your eyesight seems worse and it's related to your amount of close-up. And it depends on your work environment, obviously. But you might figure out that there is a certain amount of time after which you have a ciliary spasm that just doesn't want to go away. For me, for example, that's about three hours. I will get a ciliary spasm that will be kind of stuck if I don't give it a rest after three hours. Where is that point where you're overdoing it with your close-up? And the easiest way to do it is just to have an eye chart or something at a distance that's challenging to read when you start working and just periodically check on that. Because there will be a point at some point where that thing is just blurry and no matter what, you can't clear it up. And that's when you know your ciliary is just blocked. It makes me sad when I read emails or messages or comments in general when people are not making progress because I'm always trying to point to this bit of the troubleshooting is really simple. Like it always boils down to what you're saying. I spend 20 minutes on the phone and everything's already blurry. If that's the case and you're not improving, those 20 minutes you have to get rid of. For the full episode of this Short Study Podcast, visit the Back to 2020 member forum where you have access to this and lots more short-sighted podcast episodes along with hundreds of pro topic videos I've made over the years and access to our member forum that has over 90,000 monthly visits, tons of community and resources to help you on your way to get back to 2020.